TV. Right, oh, new breeders, we are here with Dino and Seabomb, and we're at the Halls of Justice. This is where the original Mad Max was filmed. This is the MFP headquarters where Mad Max and the MFP hung out and uh, did all their business and and hunted the Night Rider, Dino. Yes. This is one of my favorite movies from 1979. Mad Max influenced me when I was a kid. It was part of the, one of the science fiction movies that I loved growing up, of, of many of them that I loved growing up. And this was definitely one of the, in the collection of mine, of course. And we also have a t-shirt that will be available online soon. So this is the MFP uh, Mad Max t-shirt. So. Show them the back. Fuel injected, suicide machine, E. There we go. Yeah, yeah we, have, we have a song called Fuel Injected Suicide Machine that was based off the character Knight Rider. It was in the first movie, so make sure you go see the first movie. Because a lot of times when people say Mad Max, they go to Road Warrior. No, this, the first movie is called Mad Max. So go see that one and go check out the Knight Rider. He's in the first 10 minutes of the movie. It's all about him. Absolutely. Dino knows his Australian Mad Max history. Don't you worry. <laughs> now, Mad Max 1 was filmed all over Melbourne. And, of course... We're here today visiting the Halls of Justice. And let's just take a look. Just pan up and have a look here. We've got we've got the original location. Now this is where Mad Max drives the interceptor out. He drives it through this gate and out to hunt down Toe Cutter and the boys. So yeah, there we go. Yes. Uh, also, our song Fuel Injected Suicide Machine, it's a ripping track. When I first wrote the track, it was fucking just brutal. And I was thinking, all right, Bert's not going to accept this track because he doesn't really like stuff that's too brutal like that. But for some reason, he saw the vision in it, and he wrote the, the lyrics for it, which is killer. But but when we started doing the tour for Aggression Continuum, we didn't know if we should throw it in the set or not because it was just too brutal. We didn't think people were going to get into the track because a lot of times when you play songs live, like, Edge Crusher and Shock and Lynchpin, like all those groovy songs go over really well live and then sometimes when you play a faster track it doesn't really go over well live. So we decided to throw it in the set list because there was a few fans online that were asking for the song. So when we finally threw it in the, in the, uh, in the set list, it kind of didn't go over well in the beginning. But then then I started taking like the, cat fr the catchphrase, I hate everything, and I started making the crowd chant that part and then from there it just took off and now the saying is on the back of his shirt and so now people you know they love the song and it's getting a lot of attention now we'll be at the show tonight and we'll be filming a little bit of fuel injected suicide machine so stay tuned for that new breeders before we start the song when i say i hate you say everything i hate Brisbane was way fucking louder. Come on, guys. You try one more time. Oh, yeah. This is Phil Injected Suicide Machine. Yeah. He lost everything.
Resistance!